Hey Capricorn, welcome to your reading for the second half of March uh, 16th to the 31st. I am Eric. Welcome to Divine Conversations. It is so lovely to see you. Um, yeah, let's just get into it, shall we? A little bit of shop talk. I am available on Instant Go if you have an iPhone or a iPad. The link to my Instant Go account is, or profile, excuse me, is um, in the description box below. I am also available for private readings. If you would like to book a private reading with me, um, all of the information for that is down below, including my email address and a description of some of the readings that I offer. Yeah. So Capricorn, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Capricorns, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Please bring forward the best messages for Capricorn during this time period of March 16th to the 31st. Thank you so much, Spirit. Capricorn. 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 One more shuffle for you, Capricorn. And then we will cut the deck. Capricorn. All right, Cappy, what do we got for you? Eight of Cups. All right. Moving on in some way. Something is not fulfilling you, and you're tired of it, is what I just heard. <laughs> so you're moving on. Fair enough. You've got the Four of Swords. Respite. Taking a break. Yeah. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune. Very, very good. Karma. I'm hearing, and look at that, the lovers, ooh. So <laughs> what I'm seeing here is, yes, this definitely could be um, relationship-oriented. Um, um, but what I'm really getting here is a choice, because the lovers can talk about a choice, right? Um, making a choice, and in, in a lot of cases, the lovers is making a choice towards yourself. Um, what I'm getting here is there was a moment of rest, of respite here with the Four of Swords that helped you gain a lot of perspective. And now you're realizing that this, whatever this situation is for you um, is unfulfilling. So you're moving forward with it. And um, the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. So this is talking about divine timing, but it's also talking about um, karma reaping what you've sown. Um, yeah, let's go, let's get deeper into this story here. First you have the star, wish fulfillment. Okay, you've made a wish for something and, and the eight of swords, yeah. So um, I really feel like, you know, you're wishing for something Capricorn. Um, but you're, you feel trapped somehow. You do. You feel trapped. You feel like you can't reach it. You know you're unfulfilled, but you feel like your wish is out of reach. And it's not. It may seem out of reach. And that's where the 10, of, uh, I'm sorry, not that, well, that is a 10, but the wheel of fortune is coming through and saying divine timing is at hand. Patience. You may be going through a karmic cycle right now and feeling like that which you truly desire, depicted by the star, is something that you can't have. And that's not true. Okay? That's all in your head. You got to let that go. Next in your story, we have, yeah, the Ten of Cups with the Queen of Wands. Um, passionately going after what you want. But actually, it's more of it's more like in this in this case because it's the queen. The queen doesn't have to really go after it; um, she just lets it come to her. And um, that's where this divine timing and patience message is really resonating here, um, allowing that which you desire to, in essence, fall in your lap. And what you desire is 
Ten of Cups. It's fulfillment. It's love. It's happiness. A, like family life and all that kind of good stuff. It's full love. Commitment. So if you're a twin flame, maybe you're a Capricorn. Maybe you are Capricorn. You're the divine masculine in this situation. And um, you realize that you really do desire your twin, the divine feminine. And that is your wish. And you want that 10 of cups because you, you know you can receive, you can get that 10 of cups with your divine feminine. She is your wish. But again, you feel trapped. You feel stuck. You feel like you can't get to her. And that's not true. At any moment, you can cut yourself out of this eight of swords energy, but you have to do it. No one else can cut you out. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune, though, is also saying to you um, that what is meant to be will be. So if you are a twin flame and Capricorn, you're the divine masculine, or even Cap if you're the divine feminine Capricorn, what is meant to be will be. So you don't have to worry about it. Cut yourself out of that Eight of Swords situation. Stop worrying about it. Next, we have... The Six of Cups. Yeah, we're talking about soulmates here, guys. We definitely talk about soulmates. With the Page of Swords. Is there some spying going on here, Divine Masculine? <laughs> but learning, trying to figure it out. How do I, I, I this, was, this was the title of your reading for the beginning of March. How do I get this back? So you could very well be spying on your divine feminine, trying to figure out how to move closer towards him or her. And I mean, the lovers came up at the bottom of the deck here. So, I mean, this, this is meant to be a general reading, but we've got some twin flame energy coming through and that's been coming through for the last few readings I've been doing for the Zodiac signs. Not all of them, but like for the last ones, it's been coming through. Moving forward, we have the Fool with the Nine of Cups. Hmm. Well, first of all, Capricorn, don't drink your sorrows away. Okay. Um, but you're, but I mean, especially with, you know, how you have the uh, the eight of cups and your overall energy in moving forward. I mean, this is a big leap of faith for you in, in many cases, Capricorn. But again, with the nine of cups, we've got wish fulfillment and we've got it right under the star. So you've got wish fulfillment from both a spiritual level and a physical 3D level. That is a great sign. So then again, there's really no point in staying stuck in this eight of swords energy. Just cut yourself out of there, man. You don't need it. It's not going to help you. It's only going to make things harder for you, really. Moving forward. The king of wands. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Not only do we have the counterparts, but we have them showing up right, <laughs> right next to each other. King of wands with the two of swords. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm just going to go ahead and say it how I heard it. The divine masculine feels stuck. He's between a rock and a hard place because he knows he can get his ten of cups with the divine feminine, but he doesn't know how to get there. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, that's what I'm picking up for that. Okay, finally in your story, we have the Three of Pentacles, okay, with the Seven of Wands. Defensiveness. Um, this speaks to entrepreneurship, the Three of Pentacles uh, in some cases, but here, uh, and it also speaks of working together with people. 
So, coupled with the Seven of Wands, it's a very interesting message because it's like either you're you're battling against others in defense of whatever it is you want to go after, or um, you're working with others to persevere in some way. You could also be working with yourself in the Three of Pentacles. Like you could be like mustering all of the cooperation for you with yourself that you can to battle through this. But what I'm picking up for you, Capricorn, is that um, your decision has been made and you are trying to get there. You know you need to walk away from something. You know something's not fulfilling for you anymore. And the universe has your back, is what the ten of, oh, what, I'm sorry, what the Wheel of Fortune is also saying. The universe definitely has your back. The t divine timing is at hand, and um, what is meant to be will be. Right? I'm trying to see if there's anything else for you here. No, nope, that's it. All right, Capricorn, there you have it. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys um, stay well. Much love to you all. And I will see you for the first half of April. Yeah. Take care, guys. Bye.